I am currently seated outside the Disneyland Hotel. The pool's downstairs, Palm Breeze Bar is downstairs where we had dinner and snacks during our stay here. I hope that this isn't too loud for the background, but I wanted to film a full haul for you because Disneyland is good for a lot of amazing things and one of the things I love most about being here is the Disneyland merch. Disney World does this. A lot of these items will be on Shop Disney or Disney Store as I think it's now called. I'm not entirely sure. You could find them in Disney World, but I feel like Disneyland just does this best. So. While I am still in my Disneyland attire for the day, I thought I would show you everything that I bought here before I have to pack it all up to go home. I recently did an Aulani haul, but I did that inclusive in my Aulani video. So I have an Aulani vlog, which is Disney's resort out in Hawaii, and I did a haul of everything that I purchased there. That haul, in fact, did put my luggage over and I had to pay $50 on our flight from Honolulu to LA. So my goal in packing this is to distribute the weight, though I don't think a lot of this is heavy. So this is gonna be in like no particular order. I will try to tell you if it's from Disneyland or California Adventure. Ooh, I'm gonna save this one. Speaking of no particular order. <laughs> During our day in California Adventure, and I will link that video here because I vlogged what I ate in both of the parks out here. I have a Disneyland version and a California Adventure version. And I always feel like I discount California Adventure because it's not as pretty as Disneyland. And then when we get there, I'm like, I forgot how much I love it here. So while we were there, Callie and I found the Baymax section. Now we watched Big Hero 6 for the first time over this past winter and it was like a Craig family surprise that we all fell in love with Baymax. So Callie wanted our photos taken with him and I was super excited to be able to find him in San Francisco. I will include a photo of that here. So Callie found these Baymax ears, which are like a Baymax munchling, which only makes it better as like a s'more. Look, he's a little marshmallow. These are super soft. So these are her official Disneyland ears. Every park we go to, Callie and I usually pick out a set of ears. These are hers for the trip. I also found her, but won't be giving it to her yet. This Baymax pin, it's like 3D, if you can see. That's a little fuzzy, hairy friend. Callie has like become a little pin collector while we've been here and I'll show you what we bought and I'm thinking about returning but I have one trick up my sleeve but definitely this pin will go either for her birthday or for Christmas in her stocking. Also that's something I love doing is while we're here like literally purchasing things for the next birthday Christmas holiday because I feel like it's a special like token of our time here. Now on social media this week, you're gonna see Callie and I unbox these. So if you want it to be a surprise, skip 30 seconds. Callie and I unboxed surprise Halloween munchlings, which released this week here in Disneyland. And she wanted Piglet as a little ghost, and I wanted Sally as a cupcake, and we actually got the reverse. But these are scented. So we smelled every single box in the store in California Adventure. And honestly, I could spend a thousand more dollars on munchlings. Like, where does this go in my house? I don't know. I know she's already sleeping with this one. Like she asked to sleep with it last night. And Sally maybe will just go in my little Disney office. But I just, how precious are these? This is the return in question. This is supposed to be like a pin bag, obviously. But the problem is that you can't put backs on most of these pins because they don't go through far enough. But I don't feel like they're sturdy enough on this front piece to just walk around the parks. I did put the rest of Callie's pin collection in here. And on this trip, we found him in Hawaii. I did buy her the Winnie the Pooh Boba. 
none of the other pins here are new to our collection but do you see how like this is already like i do have some backs that i want to try for these we'll try them out together otherwise we see a bunch just fell off when i just literally flopped it closed like good ones fell off this is the munchling white rabbit and callie's new olumel pin these pins are expensive. I don't want them just flopping off her bag while we're walking around the park. I did buy her these two like surprise. They weren't a surprise to her, but they were like the surprise, the blind bags, the Winnie the Pooh. Now I'm a pin novice. So I did not know when you buy a mystery pack that you only get two in the pack. I thought you got more because they're quite expensive again which is why I don't want them falling off this bag. This bag was $40. So I'm gonna try my pin hack when I find the thing that I bought. Otherwise, this will be returned. We'll put all the pins back on the lanyards. I bought this clip. This is not exciting, perhaps, but this is an Encanto hair clip just for like my everyday life. I love the bright colors and I love the movie, so practical. I also bought myself these earrings. They're like little Mickey gold hoops, but they clasp in the back, which I really liked. I don't know if you can see this detail of how they clasp. They're super lightweight because I did wear my bobble bar ones while we've been here, and those are really heavy, the castles, and I wore my heavy aerial ones last night, so these are a lot lighter, and I also bought these. These look like those cool girl Bottega earrings but they were $21 and these ones have little Mickeys on them I feel like this is such an easy subtle way to incorporate like Disney into your everyday life okay speaking of our love of Baymax Callie has picked up this plushie no less than five times in every store we go into and so finally this morning when I'm recording this I was like Callie get the Baymax so she opted for the little one instead of the Baymax cuddlies but he'll be coming home with us to snuggle with her many buddies on her bed at home. I also bought this picture frame. I thought about my office or my classroom even of putting like a picture of Callie and I or my family in here. This was $24.99. I do think that's expensive for like not a glass photo frame, but I love the castle here. It's so little and pretty. Yeah, I just, I thought this was really pretty. I liked the gold detailing. A nice little memory catcher and this collection this DVC member this like pink and green collection was at Aulani but they didn't have this luggage tag so this is such a like a silly thing but every time I travel to and from Disney I will use this it was $14.99 and I love the colors green and pink those are my wedding colors and obviously I love pink so can't go wrong can't go wrong Disneyland Trader Sam's Tiki Room not technically a purchase, but both of those were in non-alcoholic drinks. I'll bring them home and put them in our stirrer collection. You don't have a stirrer collection? I don't usually buy myself clothing, but I bought myself two things while we've been here. This oversized forest green sweatshirt that says Disneyland Resort, the happiest place on earth with this like fluffy castle. I will be wearing this on the plane ride home with a pair of biker shorts to be comfortable so I can edit all the videos for you, including our first class flight experience on two different airlines. I know, or I'm, I'm hoping this is too big for me. It's a large, it looks oversized, but normally I'm not someone who loves like big baggy oversized things, but I thought this would be cute even like with a little French tuck into jeans and I, the idea of wearing jeans right now as this video is coming out is like, I've been on vacation for two weeks, though I've been getting all my movement in um, and obviously I'm not overeating. The idea of wearing a button up pair of jeans because I really all summer just live in like dresses and bathing suits feels insane. But I thought this could be cute with a pair of like white sneakers and jeans even just for my everyday life so I love this and I love this color. I was torn between this and the cream, but I thought the green would transition nicely into fall and then for a holiday season. Yeah, holiday season. Speaking of cute sweatshirts, I bought this one for Callie. How cute. Right now her favorite characters are Winnie the Pooh and Baymax and Jack Sparrow, but not for like stuff, just for like Pirates of the Caribbean, right? This has a hood 
It is an extra large in kids because I thought that that would take her through this year and hopefully into next year. Um, but this would be so cute with little like red leggings for school and her hair and little pigtails. Like I just thought this was adorable. I also bought these for her. When do these expire? November. So I could give them to her for her birthday. These are play in the park gummy castles in strawberry, blue, raspberry, and fruit punch. And yes, I'm very aware if you watch the Aulani video that I just spent so much money on better quality gummies, but I thought these are really cute and I could give them to her for her birthday. I was going to do Christmas in her stocking, but they're, they'll expire according to the package before then. I probably should have looked at that before I purchased them. And then for the love of all pins, I bought this for me. Now, I'm an ear collector from Disney. I'm arguably a cookbook collector from Disney. I am not a pin person, apparently until now, because I need another collection. These were expensive, but this is a 16 pin collection and there are five randomly selected pins in here. I think I'm gonna open these in an Instagram reel. So stay tuned on social media, follow along because I would love to be able to get this Winnie the Pooh. We have this little like munchling guy. I also have the Mickey munchling for holiday season. What am I doing with these pins? I literally don't know, but I love this and couldn't pass it up. There are three series. This is a series one. I'm tempted to pick up the other two. Do I want to spend $90 more on pins? No, but you never know. You never know, sometimes things are just needs, right? Silly. It like heals my inner child. I bought these for Mark. These are Disney socks. These are specific to Tomorrowland in Disneyland. It looks like the people mover to me. I know it's not, but he's gonna love these for his stocking. Stocking, stocking. And this is wrapped. Oh, this is an ornament. Because it's a munchling mini Christmas ornament. I deeply appreciate that she's not glass but she is dressed up as holiday toffee pudding. So cute. I also saw like a really cute set of ornaments. I think it was on Main Street in, sorry, I can see Mark and Kelly in the pool. They're really, really cute. <laughs> um, on Main Street in Disneyland, it was like princess ornaments. And I thought, how cute, there were like six of them. Like you could decorate a mini tree with those. I feel like my daughter would love that. We're big into Christmas at my house. Really all holidays. Uh, this is not something I purchased. These are ice cubes. Well, no, they're not. They're not at all ice cubes. These are blinky little Mickey lights that we got at Blue Bayou that went in our drinks. Oh, they have different blink settings. So I have three of those. I really appreciate, remember the old square ones that you could get? I forget the phrase, it was like magic in your glass or something. I really like these little plasticky Mickeys. I think they're cute and I think they're gonna last longer. There's a button on the bottom for the settings, but we have three of those. Empty. And empty. 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 I am showing you how I put these together on TikTok and Instagram, but I bought, these are gonna be my like official Disneyland ears. These are the ears where you get to choose the heads that you want. So I built these for me and I built these for Callie because again, big Winnie the Pooh moment going on here. How cute. I am dying for Disney to come out with these that have like Duffy and Friends on them. How precious would that be? Or even like princesses. I think that would be really cute. So I wore these yesterday when we were in California Adventure and Cali wore these. We're gonna get to these momentarily. I bought this for my niece. Her name is Remy. I thought this was really pretty with the little mini bow. She has a little sister named Rowan, but I feel like Rowan's too little right now for jewelry. I could be wrong. And then honestly, I bought these for me because they, were, they would look so cute with this dress, but I love them. Pink sparkly Mickey's say less. They had these in so many colors. I love them. And then I bought these for Callie, probably for her birthday or maybe even for Christmas. I bought these last time with like the little hats, the little Mickey hats on them and I didn't know what I was gonna do with them and we ended up adding them to like zipper pulls on her backpack. So I thought those were so cute. Given 
the state of what she loves right now. When I went to the 50th anniversary weekend, which was Mark's birthday weekend in Disney World, which was three years ago, four years ago now, I bought myself a pair of silk pajamas that I wore so often, I ended up getting like the holes in the stitching of my thighs. So, I saw these little beauties in the store when we first got here. These are pajamas and it's long pants and then a short sleeve top with all of the Disneyland icons on them. This, my friends, was a no-brainer because this is something I will literally wear until there are holes in them. So I'm very excited. Please be prepared to see videos featuring these jammies. And then for Mark, for Christmas or his birthday, probably Christmas, I got him this Tiki Trader Sam's Tiki shirt because the next time we go to Aulani in 2027, he will definitely wear this. And we're planning on spending his 40th birthday in Disney World. So he'll want to go to Trader Sam's for that. I wanted to get him a medium. They didn't have it. So I did go with the large because I feel like sizing up in Disney is always the best policy. One moment. And for $1.50, I did get this Disney Parks reusable bag. It's interesting. I've been shopping for days and no one offered me a reusable bag until today. So yes, said yes to that. Let me see if I can figure out this pin situation because this will determine do we keep the bag or not. So this is a locking pin back and it literally comes with like this little wrenchy thing. There's only 12 in here. Like, okay, all right, let's, Let's test some things out. I'm scared I'm gonna pinch myself because I've already done that. Let's start with boba. How does this work? Like I'm undoing it. Oh, that I am. Okay, oh, okay. Mini mouse. Here we go. Yeah, that doesn't work. Am I doing this wrong? This, it seems like this bag is going back is what I'm, Am I doing this wrong, friends? Yeah, okay. What I think, okay, another pin just fell out. So how does this work? Oh, I think I see. But like basically it like covers the back of the pin so that you never need to see it. Okay, the, the little things might actually come in handy, but otherwise I'm gonna be de-pinning this whole bag to take back. So if you are a pin person and you think, oh, this is cute, because it is cute. It's not worth the $40 to protect your pins because that's not what it's doing. So this will be a project, a momentary project. We saved the fun part. So D23, like, it happened. It just happened. And while D23, if you're not familiar, D23 is an every other year basically the biggest celebration for Disney fans globally. D23 is where there are like panels with Disney celebrities and they have all kinds of new information and merch, etc. So I follow D23, which is on my bucket list of places to actually visit someday, but I follow for a lot of the like merchandise exclusive bits that come out and I love all the TikToks of like the D23 halls. So I kept seeing the Disney wishables as the villains in the D23 halls. And they made their way, the extra made their way to Disneyland. So, I actually asked a cast member when we arrived, where can I find the Disney Wishables villains? And she, she said, no, that truck didn't make it here. But I found them. Before I show you the villain, I did find her. I found her. She's a limited release Wishable. She doesn't do anything. She's just an adorable Ariel. And as someone who likes to pride themselves on being a mermaid, I was like, yes, yes, in fact, I need her because she's so cute. So, I'm really hoping that this Disney wishable is Ursula so I can have the like set of them. I squished so many of these bags. It does say squeeze me, but the choices here are Jafar, Jasmine, like when she's under Jafar's spell, 
Maleficent, Prince Philip, and Ursula. Like, I want Ursula. So, this is the Good versus Evil series. So some of these characters are not villains, but we're gonna open it together. Can you cross your fingers that it's Ursula, please? I'm gonna reach into the bag and show you first. <laughs> I searched for so long for her. Thank you to the cast members who helped me. Look, there's tentacles on the bottom. Look at her. I got to be Ursula for Halloween a few years ago. Oh my gosh, there's seashells on her ears. That 45 minutes of searching, you might be like, Chelsea, what? If this doesn't make your heart scream, I don't know what will or what you're doing watching this video. <gasps> I'm so happy. Look at her little necklace. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. I have gotten so lucky with my wishables. It makes me want to buy more munchlings and test out my luck, but I also am just so happy to have the ones I have. Okay, I made such a mess out here. I need to like pack. That's what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I love you. Thank you for being here. I think it was our good luck together that got us Ursula. I love her. She's my favorite villain. But daddy, I love him. Thank you for watching this. I hope it was as fun for you to watch as it was for me to like undo everything that I've purchased here. I love these types of videos. If you still like an old school Disney haul or an old school haul in general, will you give this video a thumbs up? Please subscribe. We have more content coming your way. I will see you in the same place, same time next week. Goodbye, my magical princesses. I love you.